Good morning, YouTubers. So I'm about 70 here, and I'm uh, out here behind the house. And I'm here at the trench that I watched me dig a few videos ago. And uh, I don't know. I mean, it rained here last night or yesterday afternoon. And uh, actually, it got so dark at 4 o'clock, it, it was like nighttime. I was cooking something on the grill, and I couldn't even see what I was cooking. I ended up... Actually, I was cooking chicken, but I ended up dropping a piece because I didn't have a hold of it good, and I couldn't see. And but anyway, beside the point, uh, what I want to do here, I'll show you. This is the trench I dug. I don't know how well that's coming out with the sunlight and the shadows. And, but anyway, and I got it dug, and you know, there's no water that ran out here. So, but I, you know, the ground's so dry, it probably soaked it up. So it's not. A, not a real good test. And here's the the trencher. It's still sitting here. I gotta move that. Uh, my plan today, hopefully, is to uh, start throwing this. I want to level this out here, and I'm gonna get some dirt. I'll show you later. But anyway, I, you know, I, I did this, and I I don't think it was on any of my videos. But I videoed this, me telling you what I wanted to do with this driveway here. And uh, I can't find the video, so I don't know if I lost it or it's there and I didn't see it. I don't know. I tried several times. But what I'm doing here is I want to, you know, level this out. And uh, this is going to be a driveway. And I'm behind the, by the way, I'm behind the garage right now. And that's, uh, and eventually I want to park the camper over here. I've got a big rock here to, to remove. And I'll do that when I get the skid steer up here. And I've got some rocks here I want to remove. And the same deal, skid steer. But, uh, and then here, it's an open area. And this is going to be a 90 degree turn here. And then it's going to come down, down to here. And it's going to kind of like go right into the driveway. And, uh, and that's, you know, that's, but I'm going to have to come clear down to here to fill. I got some pipe here I gotta run down past this and then I can fill this in here. My plan I I don't know, I it's, I should have did this when they did the driveway and I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. But I should have had them dump like two loads or three loads over here before I did all this. Now he's gonna come up here with this big tandem uh, truck, and he's going to dig up my driveway. You know, I'm going to have to repair it. That's all. You know, I have no other choice. That's the only way I can. You know, I don't even know if he's going to be able to make this turn. I have to take these reflectors down. I have to take all of them down. When he comes up, he's going to have to make a wide swing here, and then come over to here, and drive way up in there, and then to back around into this area. Now. I mean, I know he can do that, but it's going to do a lot of damage to my driveway. I'm not happy about that. I don't have any other way to get... I want to get millings up here. And I want to do the rest of this in millings. And uh, because this here is three years old, and I've never done anything with it. You know, it's just... That's it, you know. I never had washout or anything. And heavy rains. Never had an issue with it. So anyway, that's that's where we're at with that, and uh, and I don't know when that's all going to happen, but I want to get it ready. So, but we got a lot of low areas over here to to get, and uh, I don't know. Maybe we can even dig some of this out and push it over there if I have to. But. That is 
what I'm planning on doing with this, and I'm going to start it today, basically. And uh, you know, I'll show you where oh, I've got to move this out of the way, by the way. So, so that will. I'll probably bring that down here and park it on in front of the camper here. Uh, I'll park it right here in front of the camper. I have room. But I want to get the get the skid steer up here with the bucket. And I want to start cleaning this out here. Oh, what caved in here? I slid down from the bank, and this is just a regular maintenance thing. It's got to be done, you know, every year or every other year, depending on how clean I want it. Or and uh, I'm going to take, and there's a lot of shale in here, so that'll be a good, good base for the road or for the driveway. And uh, but and it's going to go way up there, so not way up there. Look. I'm sure it looks a lot further than what it is, but uh, it might be, you know, 50 yards. So anyway, that's what I'm going to start working on today. So if uh, you're interested in this kind of content or curious to see what I'm going to be doing here, stay tuned. I'm going to... Uh, Bring you along, and the first thing I got to do with the skid steer is bring it up here. And this here is my fuel tank, uh, and I just filled it up about a month ago with diesel fuel. And I'll fuel that up. I need my I need my mule to uh, pump the gas. I, I, I need the battery to operate my uh, pump. And once I get everything hooked up, it takes about, you know, about a minute, if that, to fill up the uh, skid steer. And then I'll be good for another probably week or two, or maybe even a month, depending on how much I use it. But anyway, that's it for now. I'll bring you along when I get doing something. All right, uh, that was me refueling the uh, skid steer, skid loader, whatever you want to call it, the LX665 in New Holland. But, uh, uh, you know, that tank sits on a trailer, and when I have to fill it up, all I have to do is hook it, and I, I showed it on another video, I believe, and uh, I just hook it to my truck and take it to the store, fill it up, and bring it back, and... You know, it's ready to go for, it holds 100 gallon, so that'll last me a couple months or more, probably more. I mean, that tank lasted me over a year. I mean, I've used it pretty hard. I dug all this out and, uh, and took it and dumped it down there over the bank on the other side where the skid steer is right now. But anyway, as I promised, I'm going to go back in here and start cleaning this out a little. Take this. It's going to be a little muddy, you know, but it's a nice day. You know, it's in the, well, it's in the high 60s right now, and it's like about 9.30 in the morning. But anyway, what I'm going to do is bring it out there and dump it and spread it. I want to get them big rocks out of the way. And I got the, the trench removed. And I'm still on that gas that I was left in there, and it was only a quarter of a tank, and it's still running. I dug, I dug that. I mean, it's not. Well, it ran for. And let me see. I think. Let me see how many hours is on it now. And it's not on. It went off, but I have to start it. I'm not going to do that. But anyway, I probably have an hour on it running time and it's still running on I mean it just sips gas that's only a nine horse engine so all right stay tuned I'll bring you along for more excitement